while you're here, go ahead and like and subscribe. All righty then, welcome. And today I'm going to be doing a quick speed painting and art rage of uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, SRV, the Austin legend, one of the greatest uh, jazz blues guitarists of all time, one of my favorites. I grew up uh, with my pop listening to him a lot, and um, Double Trouble was in the mix, so this was kind of a, a fun project to think back and think about some of the, you know, some of the first times that I heard SRV, and, um, you know, downtown they got the statue of SRV down by uh, the river, which is kind of cool. Uh, just So I just did a, a quick speed painting um, in Art Rage 5, and... Uh, it went pretty good. Everything was was pretty pretty smooth. I did a, a little bit of effects towards the end in the background, just trying to kind of uh, mix up a background image and and get some colors uh, smoothed in together, just so it kind of gave it a cool effect. Uh, but something that I wanted to talk about was um, the process of learning and how to improve your learning a little bit. I've noticed this with with my art, and I think it has a parallel to pretty much any type of skill or any type of um, thing that you're trying to learn um, and it's uh, not being uh, afraid to fail and kind of having a uh, paralysis so I went out uh, with one of my friends and we went hiking and then uh, I just brought some watercolors along and uh, we just kind of sat for a little bit once we found a cool spot and uh, and just painted a little bit I painted he, he was drawn in colored pencil and uh, we just sat there for you know 30 minutes an hour and, and did something real quick but um i noticed um he's kind of he's getting into art but he's not too serious about it right now you know he's just kind of messing around with it but i noticed when we were done i wasn't really looking at his work but he he had you know like a couple lines and i had pretty much it wasn't a very detailed image but i had like the entire image pretty much completed and um and I think he was just over analyzing and um, a little bit, he had a little bit of paralysis going on and he was afraid to put things down. You know, he was thinking too much about it and not just kind of letting it happen. And um, I'm sure anybody out there who who's into uh, creating things and, and considers themselves a hobbyist of art or whatever will, will understand what I'm talking about when sometimes, you know, it's just flowing through you and it's real natural. And then sometimes you're thinking too much and you're erasing and you're trying to make it perfect. And it's just, uh, you know, it's a struggle. It's a struggle to get things out. And um, I think there's a parallel there between any skill that you're learning where there comes a point uh, that you hope you get to this point where everything uh, is intuitive and everything is muscle memory and you're just letting it flow. You're in kind of a Zen flow state where it's just happening. You know, you can see it in sports. You can see it in uh, musicians. You know, whenever whenever a good guitarist just goes on a solo and they're just letting it ooze out of them, right? And um, I think that's the most natural way uh, to create things and the most natural way uh, to really uh, express express yourself in a sport or to express yourself in an art is just to kind of let it happen and don't think. So hope y'all are having a good day. Um, don't think too much, just let it happen. Peace.